Sup guys, Akers HD here bringing you an After Effects tutorial. Now I'm just messing with you guys. Um, this is actually the second take of me doing this. Uh, being the uh, smart man that I am, I forgot to click record audio. So this is going to be my second attempt <sighs> at recording this. So hopefully it will be just as good as the first time because it was pretty awesome the first time. Okay, so anyway... uh. No promotion for you, pretty lads. Just kidding. I love you guys. Um, but anyway, this is gonna be an After Effects tutorial for the uh, music bars equalizer, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, thing in my intro that I edited. If you didn't see it, I'll put a link in the description to uh, watch it. It's not on my channel. It's on my friend's channel because they're his clips. So let's get started. Okay, if my uh, After Effects will load. Um, first thing you're gonna need is a song that you want to sync the I equalizer bar thingies to. I'm using a song that uh, my friend made, just so I don't get any copyright stuff. And yeah, so just drag that in your composition. I already made one. Okay, and then once it's in there, you're gonna want to right click on it and go into Keyframe Assistant and do Convert Audio to Keyframes. Okay, and then you're gonna want to go into layer, new, solid, make it any color you want. I'm just gonna make it blue. It does not matter because we're gonna change the color anyway. Uh, scale it to about this size. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're gonna want to go into generate grid, and you're gonna want to turn check invert grid and blending mode. Turn to stencil alpha, and these circles with like the cross thingies in the middle. You're going to want to move them accordingly, something like this. Something like that. And you're going to want to go back into Effect, Generate, Ramp, and change the colors to whatever you want. I'm using red and green because that's what I use in my montage. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now we have the thing, the equalizer bar. Now we're going to sync it to our music. Uh, with your solid still selected, go into effect, transition, linear wipe, and on wipe angle, change that to 180. And go into your audio amplitude and click on the arrow next to effects, and you'll see three things left channel, right channel, both channels. We're just going to be using both channels. Click the arrow on that. And you want to alt click on this stopwatch on the slider. And you're going to want to add uh, star minus one. And then go into your solid effects, linear wipe, transition completion. You're going to want to alt oh, sorry. You're going to want to alt click on the stopwatch. And you're going to want to pick whip that down to the slider and click on the uh, expression. Add whatever digit you want. I recommend like 40s to like 100 ish. That's I think that's what I use. I'm going to start off using 69. Hee hee hee. Very funny. And as you see, if we scroll through the timeline, you can see that the uh, bar changes. And if we duplicate our solid, I'm going to duplicate it twice. And I'm going to change, just go into the effects and go to the linear wipe. And if this isn't up, it'll look like this. Just click on this arrow and change the, in the expression, change the number, change one to uh, 46. And then I'm going to move that one move one of them over there and then this one I'll move over here and then the last one that I made um, go back to effects linear wipe transition completion change this to a higher number I'm gonna change it to 83 and as you can see they're all different um, now hopefully this won't take too long to render uh, if I do RAM preview, 
just so you guys can hear the sound. As you can see, um, with the it'll be more clear when the audio starts playing, but uh, the bars move with the uh, the audio, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can also do this with the uh, I'm just hang on, hold on to that thought. Um, once this gets to 60, I'm gonna hit play. Okay, 55, 56, 57, 58. See, this is why I need a new computer. Because it's, okay, alright. Okay, so that's basically enough to see. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, you can also use... Hang on. I think... If I just... I think there's a... Uh, no, thing you need to generate isn't... I know there's something else that you can uh, use. Oh, audio waveform and audio spectrum, but those are a bit different. But yeah, this is how you make these uh, equalizer bar things. Uh, there's only one tutorial on YouTube on how to do this, and it didn't have a voiceover. It was just uh, s like text, and it was pretty hard to follow. And uh, I usually try to do tutorials that are not well known, or there's none of them. So I thought I'd do this one. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully uh, I recorded the audio this time. I always mess up, like, whenever I record speed arts, I'll, like, forget to hit record, and then I'll do the speed art, and then I'll have to redo it. <sighs> I really need to get used to this. Um, but yeah, enough of me uh, ranting. Hope you guys enjoy this. I will see you guys hopefully soon in a new video. I'm trying to be a little better on uploading. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.